conscious neuromuscular rehabilitation, what is that and how do you incorporate that into your practice? So there's different ways that you can do it. Isometric exercises are typically static. They strengthen muscles at specific joint angles. They're easy to use. They probably are the most common exercise that have already been done after carpal instabilities and a lot of us are probably already doing them in practice when we're starting strengthening after a wrist fracture. So eccentric exercises strengthen the muscle when it's being lengthened because of an opposing load. And there's increased science that supports that an eccentric exercise is actually a little bit more efficient. So if you consider just this being a weight, is an eccentric exercise is that, and if I want to work on the eccentric, my wrist extensors, an eccentric exercise, I would assist my wrist up into extension, and then I would lower the weight down very slowly. So that's an eccentric exercise. So I'm not doing this. I'm assisting up into extension and I'm lowering it down slowly. So you can use the red TheraBand flex bar to do that. You can use TheraBand or you can just use a weight. But if you haven't been doing eccentric exercises, they are found to be very efficient in regaining uh, wrist balance and stability as well as strength.